Hey there YouTube, this is a uh, fact to fit for sure here. Today we got what I call a lunch break mukbang. So anywho, this is part of the learn to be your own personal trainer series. And uh, one of the big things I haven't really touched on a whole lot is what do you eat diet wise? Got some stuff right here, got some beans. It's kind of like refried beans, I've just cooked the bejesus out of some pinto beans, no oil added. Until they kind of melt down and they just kind of up there. Start just make them tighten up and you just got this just refried beans, man. No salt, no fat added. It's a good time. Got some uh, spinach here. I'm not a big fan, but I eat it because it's really good for you. Got some little little oranges. Got some carrot sticks. Boom. They're delicious. Vitamins. Strawberries. Boom. Got some almonds, good stuff. It'll make you full, which is good. And you do eat mostly vegetables, mostly vegetative carbohydrates. You don't really feel that super full. I'm kind of moving towards the vegan end of it, but for now I got some cheese, cheddar cheese, and an egg. What I've got here is about, I don't know, about 2,000 calories. 1800, 2000 calories um, twice a day. How to exercise, you're going to want to factor that in when you're deciding where your calorie limit should be. I'm not a big fan of the calorie, you know, limiting calories, limiting intake. If you do find you're hungry, and this is kind of my simple rule, it's not like you, I could count calories and do all that jazz, and that'd be fine, but I just keep oranges and apples, I keep them at my table. I keep them at my desk at work. Uh, I keep them, uh, uh, you know, in a bowl within reach so you don't make bad decisions. Gosh, I gotta have an apple or should I have a bag of chips? Um, apple. Okay, chips are bad for you. They have lots of fat and salt in them. Any added fat or salt or sugar is not necessarily a good thing. Now, I don't have any bananas with meat right now because I already ate them, but. Bananas are sweet, strawberries are sweet, oranges are sweet. If you need that sugar, get it from that. Don't be afraid to drink 100% fruit juices. People knock on juice like, hey, you shouldn't drink it because it has so much sugar in it. But it's fruit juice, man. It's healthy. It's got vitamins. It's got <clears throat> phosphorus, all micronutrients. It's got all kinds of good stuff. So we're talking about what to eat, when to eat it. Um, it's kind of going to be up to you. I eat, I don't eat three times a day like they you know, suggest. I eat pretty much all day. Uh, my in-between stuff, so this is kind of like what I eat for lunch and what I eat for dinner. Kind of a duplicate. Just two, ver you know, two portions of it. But then, I usually eat about ten bananas. Uh, about five to ten apples. Four or five oranges. That's the way to do it. Don't don't limit yourself. I'm gonna do a little salt here. Don't tell anybody. But uh, don't don't limit yourself. And if you're if you feel like you need to do that, make some healthy choices with fruit, with carrot sticks, celery sticks. Toss a little spinach in your face. Mmm. <laughs> so bitter and weird, but anyway. I was saying before, I'm kind of transitioning from more of the vegetarian end to the vegan end because of all of the kind of violence done to animals. These chickens that make lay these eggs have been modified naturally in, in nature. Chickens only lay eggs when they, you know, evolution says they should make eggs or make new chickens. So maybe like. 10 a year, but these have been modified so they, they spit out, you know, from breeding and other factors. And in these, they're in these warehouses and they have these fake light suns in there that come up multiple times a day, and they, these chickens suffer. These chickens that lay these eggs, they're not eating, they suffer. You know, you cows, does anybody know that cows suffer? They live in these squalid situations where 
the pump with hormones and everything else. So yeah, got some dairy, got some eggs, but I'm working on it. I'm get, working on a way to, because I'm super addicted to cheese, so I'm working on a way to make a dairy-free cheese. Mainly the protein is from nuts, or some other sorts, beans or something like that. And you just, different vegetables and this stuff called yeast nutrient. One thing you will notice, if you do decide to go vegan, um, you have to take it, some things into account. What kind of veggies do you eat? Do they have calcium, iron, mag magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, zinc, selenium, magnesium, manganese, molybdenum, pantothetic acid, chromium, biotin, copper, folic acid, iodine, vitamin A, vitamin B1, riboflavin, vitamin B3, phenicin, vitamin B6, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, and vitamin B12. And that's kind of a big one. The B12 is one you don't get a whole lot of if you're eating nothing but vegetarian vegetative food. You can get some from that yeast nutrient. Not a ton. Um, you can get it from the sublingual um, supplements. And that's what I would re recommend. Since I don't get a lot of that from eating meat, um, I take the sublingual B12 vitamin. They're kind of expensive, but if you're going to say, if you now decide not to eat meat, if you make that decision, in one calendar year, you'll have saved 200 and so you will not have eaten the equivalent from all the different things that go on from the making the eggs from the, the cows who, do they live do they not live this kind of thing 200 in a year so that's kind of what I'm moving towards um, so the thing what am I missing if I don't eat meat what's the main thing you don't you miss when you don't eat meat B12 uh, vitamin B, vitamin C, some of the soluble um, vitamins you can only get from meat, but you can also get those from uh, uh, different carbohydrates. And I'm not going to go into that, but kind of the big ones are iron, and you can get you know you can get that from the, uh, seaweed, beans. I eat a lot of beans, the refried beans. These are not refried beans. You know what I mean? Green leafies like uh, uh, spinach, which Love. Mm -hmm. um, calcium is a big one. You're not going to be drinking milk. You're not going to be eating cheese. Right? But you can get that from kale and bok choy and collard and turnip greens and tofu. Okay, now, getting to the tofu thing. People get all excited about tofu. Doesn't it elevate the level of female hormones in the male and female body? I don't know. And does that, does that make you have cancer? People have cancer. I, you know, I don't know. There's been no conclusive study. They, they talk about elevate. They talk about a corollary between elevated vegetative hormones that are equivalent to female hormones, and women getting different cancers from this, from elevated levels. I don't know. I, since you don't know for sure, should you avoid them? Well, I'm not a woman, so I guess that kind of lets me off the hook there. Um, it can cause different things in males when they're, you know, pumping iron. I'm not doing any of that. I'm carbo. I'm a uh, aerobic exercise guy. Running, biking, aerobic dance, swimming, those kind of things. So I'm not trying to build tons of weight. I'm not drinking, eating a whole bunch of whey protein or anything like this. It's basically what you see here. Three eggs a day, six slices of cheese. These, these size slices of cheese are pretty thick. Um, so, not super, you know, I'm not super worried about, you know, the relationship between uh, these hormones that are, you get from soy products. So, I'm not that super worried about that. I, I don't eat a ton of tofu because it's super, by its very nature, how they make it, it's super acidic. It's kind of hard on my tongue tongue. I do eat some edamame, uh, and that's a pretty good source of protein. I say beans, eat lots of nuts. These almonds have a pretty decent amount of protein in them. Um, add all those things up, you really don't need these things. I'm kind of addicted to these things still. And you'll, I think that's what you'll find. People are transitioning from one um, lifestyle to another. And it's not, you know, I'm not, I don't like it to taking drugs or being addicted to cigarettes or anything like that. But, you know, there's these processes inside your head, these behaviors that are learned. 
and so you have to kind of like put a new tape in if you want to use an old metaphor. Take this old idea out, behavior, tuck it away, get rid of it, put in this new idea, but hey, you get these proteins from other sources. So like I said, it was going to make you sad. Soy, uh, dairy-free cheese, which has nuts, and I'm kind of excited about that. I'm kind of excited to like just be a cheater a bit and say, I want something that's like cheese. I want some tang, and you get that from the, um, you can add uh, different paprika and, and saffron and things, it'll give you, you know, it'll give this mixture that's going to have a texture sort of like cheese. That, that's kind of a thing I need. I think, we've, I think you'll find a lot of, you know, getting fit is kind of understanding your weaknesses and getting old. You know, you say, oh, I couldn't eat that, I couldn't live on that. Well, you can, and I, and, and I do, so I'm suggesting that you can. Uh, just eating clean is not enough to get fit. You can maybe just do a little bit of walking and eat clean food like this and find that your health and your energy levels would be much better. So, that's what I uh, So getting back to the, uh, the idea that, hey, I'm going to eat food in front of you here. A little more salt. Don't tell anybody. Like I said, I'm still moving towards the best, best way to do things. Not right. It's a little dry. Lots of hydration. How much water do you drink? Um, you know, some people will say you need to drink you know, half a gallon a day. I don't know about that. I don't drink a ton. I drink a lot of tea. I have tea in the morning and I generally... I have the tea and then I just have a huge volume of water with it. So at least like 20 ounces with what could, would be one green tea. Sweeten it with a little agave. It can be a little bitter. It's a little bit of caffeine kick. You don't sue me. Yes, caffeine. Yes, caffeine is drug. Yes, it'd be okay. Save it, I think. Maybe you don't think so. Maybe you do. I don't know. But there's where it's at. So. Peace, YouTube.